시연이라고 했을 때 뭔가 굉장히 전통적이고 어떤 장르. I think I'm thinking that we would do it for three years. Uh, we never thought that the third year would actually be here in in uh, in, in Korea. Um, the idea and the intent of the exhibition um, has always been to spotlight just how dynamic and how full of sort of creative energy and full of you know talent uh, the the Singapore fashion design scene was. Um, as a national museum, we knew that um, it was important that if we were doing something like like fashion, which we were going, which was a very new era for us, that we couldn't do it without the industry and without uh, the community. So it was very important for us that we tried to do it um, together. Uh, and the idea was never to to give you any answer as to you know, what is the profession, how does it look, like, etc. But that it would be a journey. And that each year. There would be a different narrative each year. There would be a different um, group of, of designers that were, were showcased, and that was the initial idea for this year as well. <laughs> so then, when there was the possibility to come to um, to Korea, we thought that it would be a good opportunity um, to bring together the last two years um, uh, designers um, and also feature just a few more. Summarize Singapore's culture in one word. It's not really our our many religions, ethnicities, and races. Our drive or our passion for reinvention. We take all these ideas, and somehow it's in our psyche to to evaluate and change it into something new and push it out again to show the world. How that affected the way I designed is. I think my designs became very minimal, very um, structural. That's what I crave for, the simplicity of things, using lines. I've also embraced the efficiency. So things that's very slick, very fast, very simple, very convenient. That kind of reflects in my design philosophy and the way I work as well.